Hey everyone. Okay, so today's video is technically a fluent video still, uh, but we're going to be using an add-on called Pi Menu Editor, and this is obviously the one that I have installed here. And we're going to come into here and we're going to uh, add a Pi menu and add some fluent operations. And there's some limitations currently. I think Rudy's working on making it a little bit more available for stuff like this um, in the future, but I'll show you what we have to work with. So let's hop right in. So go ahead and install your Pi Menu Editor add-on. And by default, when you enable the add-on, you're going to have this default Pi Menu. And all of your Pi Menus live here on this left-hand side. And you can add as many more menus as you want. So you can just keep adding menus down the row. Now I'm not going to go into all the menus. We're just going to cover the, the Pi Menu and maybe I'll talk about the regular menu for a second. So you can remove the items. And when you like a Pi menu and you're like, man, this is this is my workflow, this is what I like and want, and I'm really used to it, you can export these and save them somewhere safe on your computer. And then when you upgrade Blender or something bad happens and you lose, um, you have like a corrupted file and you need to reinstall Blender, you can import the Pi menu from a safe location so you don't have to rebuild it every time. Uh, the developer for Pi Menu Editor has really helped out a lot though. Um, and I'll, sh I'll show what I'm talking about, but once you have your your basic Pi menu, you can double click on it and you can change its name. So we're going to call this one um, My Fluent Ops. And it'll obviously put the name over here. And this is like the editor for this Pi menu on the right hand side. And right here is the key map to activate it. Now, this is obviously a Pi menu. And so the preview button shows you your Pi menu. And then you can also add more menus using this, this button here. We're not going to do that. And then you can enable or disable the Pi menu if you want using the check mark box. This is the context that your Pi menu is going to work in. Window is basically any window as far as I understand it. Um, you could pick other contexts, but we're just going to leave it as window. And let's go ahead and set a key map. So I'm going to go ahead and use Shift U. Uh, so hit the U key and then click on Shift. And now you've got this mapped. And it's probably a good idea to save preferences. And now we've got the left, right, down, top uh, diagonals. And then there's a lower bottom and upper top set of menu items you can do for the Pi menu. And this is the basic setup. You can get really advanced with Pi Menu Editor. We're not going to go into that today. But let's go ahead and start filling some of these things out. And I'll show you what we can use and currently what we can't use with Fluent Power Trip. So anytime you need to access something using the Pi Menu Editor, um, you can come in anywhere on Blender's built-in menus. And if you right-click, you'll have a Pi Menu Editor option. And you can click it. And if it's available, it will allow you to add it. Now, relations isn't necessarily an operation. It's just a menu item. But if I wanted to do something like move to collection, there's a bpyops um, Python operation that you can copy in. And Pi Menu Editor will let you add it to. And it adds it to the active Pi Menu in the editor. So since I made FluentOps and it's the only one and I have it selected in the edit preferences, I can add it to FluentOps. Um, but let's go ahead and do the Fluent menu. Now, if I hit the F key, and I have this um, Pi menu that Rudy built. I can't right click on these items here um, because they're inside a Pi menu. And uh, Pi menus aren't, aren't necessarily the same thing as a menu. They're like a quick pop-up menu. So if I want to be able to access all of these things, uh, Rudy made us a really nice end panel that has all the operations that are in his Pi menu and then a few more things. So we're going to access these for the Pi menu editor. And there's there is a limitation currently and I can't explain everything but I know that it does not work so for the Python here on the cutter ad if it says bpy.ops.class um, pi menu editor does not know what to do with that and it, it, it can't replicate it so we won't be able to add those but we can add anything that pretty much has a bpyops.wm and so let's let's um I like being able to show and hide wireframe in the technical display um, I think this is a very handy button to use when I've got something selected and I can 
show its wireframe. That's not very exciting for the default cube, but if we add, you know, like an icosphere, and then I show the technical display, you can notice how the wireframe is shown. And then if it had booleans, then you would see that, the blue boolean cutters and such. So rather than coming to the end panel every time or hitting the F key um, and, and trying to find it, which is fine here, but if you go into edit mode, um, the F key doesn't work anymore, right? And I've got another add-on assigned to F in face light mode. So let's go ahead and add this right click pie menu editor and I'm going to add it to my Fluent Ops and you get to pick which item you want to add it to. Let's just go ahead and add it to the first one and when we go to our add-on preferences it's now added the item and you can change like this is just a description when you come into this little right item here you can edit the item. This is the this is the Python command that you've actually copied in. This is the name. So we can change this name to anything we want. So I can change this to technical display and then click OK. And then you can add um, any kind of icon you want. So go ahead and show the disco dude. And there we go. We have our first menu item. And then um, so when I hit shift U, there it is, technical display. And you can preview these things too on the preview menu. So technical display and let's go ahead and give it a roll so does it work look at that it works okay so let's go ahead and add a few more right click pie menu editor show high wireframe we're gonna do it on the right side look at that I don't need to change the name for that one it's good to go okay other adjustments this is pretty cool so this actually calls a menu um, so I'm going to add the pie menu editor, add to my fluent ops, and let's go ahead and add it to uh, the, the lower bottom. And there we have an other adjustments and we have a whole separate menu now. So the one that um, somebody had a question in the forum was on the VG cleaner tool. So when you, let's just do a quick, quick fluent object. So I'm creating an object. Um, making it yay big and uh, because I'm crazy I'm going to go ahead and add in this cut and then tab back out and then we're going to add a first bevel and look at that that looks terrible because my cut got added to a vertex group or, or my loop my loop cut here of two vertices is now part of a vertex group that's getting beveled um, and you can tell in the first bevel because it's obviously got the dots on it, right? And I, I could hit, I think it's the, uh, the X key to unselect those. But man, that looks terrible, right? Ugh. So let's add that first bevel again. Okay, so we have a first bevel and it's terrible. So the VG cleaner is meant to clean that up and all you have to do is go in edit mode. Um, we're gonna right click, go in edit mode. Make sure you select those vertices and then you can click on the VG cleaner. And look at that, it's beautiful. It's all cleaned up. And that's, this is just to, to show what the VG cleaner is doing. But VG cleaner, um, it doesn't, it doesn't have the bhiops.wm, so it's got the class currently. I think Rudy's working on a fix for this uh, to make it so we can add this quickly to our own menus. Um, so that's coming in probably a future release. So if you were to try to do Pi Menu Editor and add it to a f to one of your items, um, notice how it has this exclamation point, and it's it's got the whole Python code here, but there's no bhiops in front of it, and even if you add it. Um, it's going to give you a context error and uh, it doesn't know how to handle I think it, I'm pretty sure it's the word class it doesn't know how to handle um, so we won't be able to use that currently with Pi menu editor but there's a it's it's an easy fix for now I mean you can always search for the thing using the space bar and typing in you know toolbox and VG cleaner look at that or 
you can right click and add it to the quick favorites. And if you hit the Q, you have the VG cleaner. Now I've got hard ops and, um, and another add on. So with the hard ops add on, um, hard ops and box cutter, if I hit Q and Q again, I don't have to scroll down. I can hit Q twice and I've got VG cleaner and you can even hit QQV. So QQV and I'm done. Okay. So we'll, we'll go ahead and cancel that operation where we didn't clean it. Um, go into edit mode, make sure we've got it selected and you can go back into object mode. Rudy's got it set. So it'll go into edit mode for you and I can hit QQ and then the V and look at that clean as butter and you can do it. Um, so I've got this in edit mode and it's, it's not available in the edit mode context, but I could add it in edit mode, I believe. So you still have to add it to quick favorites and then I hit QQ and it's there again. So it's context sensitive for the quick favorites. So QQV and it fixed it. So it works in object or in edit mode. So there you guys go. But that's, that's the basics of the Pi menu editor. I hope this was a good video. I know it's a little bit uh, long. Um, but I wanted to show this um, here. If you go to edit the item, you've got an invalid syntax error. And it won't even let you click OK to be able to change anything. And um, so this is this is a limitation of Pi Menu Editor, I think, and of uh, just the way the code is shown currently. But I think I think we'll have an improvement with that. We'll be able to add it shortly at one of the future releases of Fluent. So there you guys go. Hope that hope that's a, a good training session for you on making use of two add-ons together. Now you can start making your own menus and Pi Menu Editor is useful for a ton more things. Maybe I'll add a few more videos in the future. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.